TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right, new music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. The Waco History Podcast is sponsored by Brotherwell Brewing on Historic Bridge Street in Waco. Welcome to the Waco History Podcast. We're going to air for you uh, over the next few months a, a special series of Waco History Living Stories. Uh, these were segments that originally aired on KWBU here in Waco. Uh, they were produced by the Institute for Oral History editor, Michelle Holland, and narrated by two fabulous narrators, uh, Louis Mazze and Kim Patterson. And so these highlight oral histories from the collection of the Institute for Oral History at Baylor University, which I direct, which has been around since 1970 and has over a thousand interviews related to Waco and McLennan County history, and we're happy to highlight those here. In this Living Stories vignette, stories of junior high and the ways in which uh, folks in our oral history collections navigated the travails of those uh, early teen years. Then the night came alive with gunfire. He knew that at last it had been found. Junior high and middle school are not days that most people would want to relive. But awkward though they may be, these years influence the rest of our lives and hopefully provide some cherished memories. Woodrow Carlisle of Waco reflects on his days at South Junior High School. I'm left handed and I went in this class and I went to the blackboard and uh started writing with my left hand on the board. My teacher hit me a lick across the shoulder or something and said, quit playing around, write with your right hand. And you know, to this day, I can't write on a blackboard with my left hand. I, I, I guess I may, may have explained to her. <laughs> so I guess some of that stuff. But I appreciated that teacher. She was. She had her problems, <laughs> but she was a good, and I especially enjoyed the uh, woodworking and the metalworking shops and the harmonica clubs and the gym classes. And I, I may have related that uh, the brother who is next to me, older, won the history medal. When he went up on the stage, they requested that he wear shoes if possible. <laughs> <laughs> Hewitt Mayor Pro Tem Charlie Turner recalls an early experience that helped shape his outlook on life. When you're 5'5 five, five and weigh 108 pounds, football, you're closer to the weight of the football than you are the other players. And the old story goes, you know, the first time I suited out for football, uh, they snapped the ball. They had a guy against me. Kelly Smith was his name, I believe. It was at West Junior High School. And when they hiked the ball... I took the ball and coach and said, hit him hard as you can. I did. And I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not much. When I woke up probably an hour later, I realized I was a lover, not a fighter. And so I joined the band and I played drums ever since. Dr. Clifford Madsen, respected music scholar and educator at Florida State University, describes the impact of early mentors in Price, Utah. In junior high school, I was kind of adopted by a couple of people in the community by the name of Brown. Dorothy Brown and her husband, they were both music teachers. Uh, Dorothy was kind of the mainstay of the community. She used to be the person that would get the Messiah together every mm -hmm. Christmas or parts of it. And uh, I, I can't remember, Dean Brown was his name and he was the junior high school vocal person. So when I got into junior high school and playing in the band, he wanted me in the chorus too. And he was the one that first started teaching me about theory. I can remember going to his house one time and and his teaching me, this is dominant, this is super dominant, you know, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And I thought, goodness, you know, this sounds strange and funny, and why do they have all those names? And 
I guess he was thinking also that somewhere along the way I'd be a musician or whatever. And those kinds of experiences, of course, are very nurturing musically mm-hmm. for young people. Junior high and middle school experiences leave lasting impressions. As adulthood inches ever closer, young teens are looking for answers to who they are and what that means in the big picture. Thanks for listening to the Waco History Podcast. Like what you heard? Subscribe, rate, and review our show on iTunes so we can reach more listeners. You can find show notes and info on every episode at wacohistorypodcast.com and more info on Waco's past at wacohistory.org. Our theme music, used with permission, is Cross the Brazos at Waco, performed by the late Billy Walker. For more info on Billy's music, go to billywalker.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.